brief summer break and now the global spectacle that is La Liga has returned. All the talk cast aside, now the action. So it's down to business here. Well, talking about straight into the melting pot, uh, and no shoots! There it is! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Sevilla take the early advantage. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to say from up here, I know. Looks to... Gets his head to it! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Sevilla were simply a class apart in the corresponding fixture last season. They dismantled their opponents. So what now? Shoots! He has done it! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. And the shot! Ah, that's great defending to cover. Can he score? Oh, and they really should have been made to... Shot at goal! And the follow-up. More and more and more and more. They are running riot. And already they're looking to run away with it. Sevilla take a three-goal lead. Great leap! He's kept it out just. And it's hoisted clear. And the weighted pass... But he's gone for it! There is the half-time whistle. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Sevilla, 3 0 up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. Is it in? Goal! And they are pulling still further away. Sevilla tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. He's got up, heads it! Back of the net! Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Sevilla, totally rampant here. And he's made certain that won't get through. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play up. Shoots! No mistake! Well, just another one to add to what has already been an incredible haul. That's surely a foul free kick. Tries to get it forward quickly. Bentley. Rivaldo. Tries lifting it over. And that's it. Sevilla have their win on opening day. The season perfectly teed up. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Sevilla set out to get things off to a winning start and they've done it. There's plenty to tweak, but a win's a win. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim, and goodbye.
So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Deportivo against Sevilla. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. So it's down to business here. Deportivo had to settle for a point on opening day. Not ideal, but better than nothing. And it's Montari. Shot a goal! quite meet it right or oh, fists it away good defending albeit from an unexpected source you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of and the shot Oh, the balls gets up to head it! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. No, that was a... Inzaghi! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there too. And the finish! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Oh, it was such a clever pass that flummoxed the defence, and it could well be revisited, this. So what now? Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. And shoots! Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Looks like a good ball through. There it is! There's the whistle for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. The midway point of the game. Sevilla ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. Action is back on the way. Sevilla can feel he'll have a dip, and in it goes. The second half sparks straight into life. Sevilla break the deadlock. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on... Roll! In it goes! Two up and threatening to pull clear! Sevilla grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be... Inzaghi! They are rampant! Unbelievable! And the lead is extended still further. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Raul? Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, no... Raul! Sticks it away! Over the hills and far away! No. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Oh. 
from Delhi. Pandev. Rooney. And that is that. Sevilla, a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. Your reflections then, Jim? Sevilla simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable. Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And our live game is Sevilla against Tenerife. The winner of the UEFA Best Player in Europe award. We have come to expect so much of him. Yeah, well, I think most of this stadium, if not all, will be watching his every move. He's at that kind of level now and big things are expected to keep coming. He's a, he's a European great. The lineups. We can have a look at them now. So it's away we go then. Looks to slip it through. Someone's shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. Plays it out to the wing. Lovely bit of skill. Going for goal! And he's done it! Oh, high quality goal. Lovely first touch, sumptuous second.
Tenerife take the early advantage. Facing up to last season's champions, it is a tough ask of anyone, let alone a newly promoted side. I think gets his head to it. Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. What a throw in. Out to the left it goes. Can He's had a shot! Goal! Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it could happen. Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Has certainly made things interesting. Look, get your seatbelts on because this is showing all the signs of another roller coaster ride. Rooney. So what now? It's got through and. Played out to the wing, aimed wide, and he'd have done well to reach that. Pablo Sarabia. And there is the half-time whistle. Genuinely interesting game here, very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? That was a fantastic 45 minutes of football. I'm really hopeful of more of the same in this second half. It's a really interesting game and they head in at half-time at 1-1. They've propped me into the second 45 minutes. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Cross deflected behind for a corner. On the touchline, the change out to a car. And out to safety. Tenerife, whose last result goes so much. Ronaldo! Goal! Sevilla! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. A oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and clear composure for the place. Eh? Sevilla get themselves into the lead. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Oh, well defended, that had to... Shot a goal! It's there! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think... It was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Changes here from both sides, in fact. Sevilla two up and into a position of real strength. Listen, it's up to them now how they think about it from here because for me it's crying out for them to force the issue. Just five minutes remaining now. He's left his man. It's one! They are rampant! The lead is three! It is Surely done! 
He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Tenerife look as though they're about to make a change I think you have to admire his willingness to keep up he gets went with his head but couldn't steer it in so that's it it is all over Sevilla have done it in dramatic fashion a massive test of character and they passed it with flying colors a truly outstanding comeback by any measure how do you back on the game then Jim yeah and a result that was true to form a big team So the long journey to the summit of European football starts with the opening fixture of the Champions League. The atmosphere, the sense of expectation, fevered, frenetic. This is the one fixture they all wanted to see and every day has only fanned the flames of expectation. And so, the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Look at the lineups.
down to business here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? It has to be Sergio Aguero. Uh, the, pocket. the referee's awarded a free kick. Rivaldo. Pablo Sarabia. No. Shot a goal! Yeah, that's a decent try when you consider the range. Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. Played out to the wing. Can he finish? Bernardo Silva. The ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Has a pop! Goal! Sevilla! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. to pay that's just front foot enforcement pressure leads to mistake leads to chance more than happy to take the muscular approach gets it upfield who's he going to play in chip through he's got options out wide out in the nick of time now the pass goalkeeper's ball Aguero long and high towards the flank and the referee brings the first half to a close so there you have it a close fought half of football but one that still had its moments but ultimately produced just one goal a more than decent game up to now at half time and that's definitely pleasing I think they'll be looking to keep him shaking the shoes great ball to put him in but he will be gutted to miss that the timing of the pass and run was exquisite oh he really wanted that yeah and you can feel and hear how the crowd are reacting to all of this Yaya Toure it's gone out for a throw in Milner sticks in a foot to win it back. Pirlo. Rubinho. Manchester are keeping their men at arm's length here. Up he gets! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Gets a good foot in there. Looks to slip it through. Can he put it away? Really well taken goal. Two up! And threatening to pull clear. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Sevilla get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Sevilla are again so strong during the core of the second half. Once more, it's a fruitful period in the game for them. Of, um, of, 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 of a closer nature. It's 
the Sierra, got to a pretty ideal start with three points on day one, and it moves well for the campaign ahead. With your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good open win, and they're saying to the rest of the group, we're intent on staying top top. On this evidence, I think there's every chance to. Looking up in pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. But we'll now, now before we get, get through the formalities, the world welcome one and all. And our live game is Sporting Kiko against Sevilla. Peter Curry. And here we be in the Chibok Box 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 Listen, the big names, names earn their reputations, reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have, have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, are early, early stages. He's, he's dropped one, one, and he, he looks hungry for more. Our certainty team, team that knows how to play, play their football as stylishly as it seems. Tiki Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up for goals. Back up his, his high class wage. Heads it! Forward it goes. Milner with a definite foul there.
Filippo Inzaghi. Pirlo. Sevilla are in control here on the brink of half-time. Pablo Sarabia. Lovely feet. Back to meet it! Oh, he's got good distance. Who's chasing? We hit half-time. So there you have it. A close fourth half of football. One that still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. So your views on the first half? Well, you can debate, Peter, whether they deserve a slightly bigger lead because they've created the majority of the chances. But they are in front for a reason and they'll be confident of, of cementing that from now. Sevilla head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. There's the start of the second half. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Out wide to the right. He's tried one! He has done it! Two up and threatening to pull clear! An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. Sevilla get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Tries a through ball. There's the massive leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a... He'll have a dip! They are rampant! Surely now, beyond all doubt. Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. then in quick succession three without reply this is becoming a stroll chip through he's had a shot it goes to show he is human after all oh look i don't want to sound too dismissive but from here that looks the harder thing to do oh he really wanted that yeah and you can feel and hear how the crowd are reacting to all of this Milner. Rivaldo. Pablo Sarabia. Filippo Inzaghi. Plays it out to the wing. Whistle's gone and they've got themselves a free kick. That is gorgeous! Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy! Unbelievable. Yet another goal in an awesome performance. They are in complete charge. And he's produced a beauty. Sevilla tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Out to the left it goes. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. Leave it clear. 
Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Sevilla, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality.
the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Sevilla against Barcelona. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. And may I say a big hello to everyone. We have already started here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Well, how can I ignore the Brazilian Felipe Coutinho, who delivers an awful lot for a little guy. Great imagination and guile about his work in midfield, and in attack, he can punch considerably above his weight. Yes, he hits it! Forward it goes. Rabio, Luis Suarez, looks to slip it through. Coutinho looking to get on the end of this. Deflected over the goal line for a corner. Knocks it away. Sergio Busquets will have a dip. Goal! Barcelona! Well, he was never going to miss from there. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Barcelona get themselves into the lead and that ought to be the trigger for a really roll oh the keeper's done ever so well well what can I say truly wonderful goalkeeping Barcelona have made it clear what they're trying to do for me Peter what are they trying to do well I think they're making the roll oh surely that deserved better Oh, the weight on the ball was just perfect then. If only they could have come up with a finish to match. Filippo Inzaghi. Out to the left it goes. It's come loose. Tries to get it forward quickly. We've reached half time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. And Messi! Keeper is right behind it. Well, I can understand why his thinking was that way inclined. Steered out wide. The some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. And it's Coutinho. Barcelona were grateful to the genius of their manager last time round. Well, Peter, he was lauded by the media, and quite rightly too. I think what he did was clever and decisive, and it just goes to show how tactically astute he is. Luis Suarez, Filippo Inzaghi, Barcelona are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Another throw in. Aimed long and direct. Dicks one in. Fires it in low. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Uh -huh. 
Now it's Aubameyang. He's Aubameyang! Oh, and that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that to concede then would have been tough to recover from. That could prove a big moment in this game. And it's Busquets. Chance! Barcelona certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Passes it through. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Goes for goal! Oh, great save, real. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. And you can analyse to your heart's content. It won't change the outcome. They have lost the game. Well, the way the manager has stormed down the tunnel lends itself to an almighty telling off for such a, a timid, docile display. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you. So a warm welcome to you all, we will be on the way very shortly, once all the pleasantries are complete. The teams then, Sevilla against Torino. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching, for me it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. The action has already started, plays it out to the wing, Rubinho. Hello. So what now? Roll! Saved only by poor finishing. Quick thinking and quick control, Peter. That creates a, a little more working space. Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. defending and preventing him turning which can open up many possibilities Valdifiori looks to slip it through goes to the cross Rooney Raul 
Looks to dink one in. There are a few waiting for it. And the finish! Goal! Sevilla! And Sevilla score first! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Sevilla take the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Three all. And it's the whistle for half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Sevilla come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. In with a header! In it goes! Torino on level! What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. has certainly made things interesting. Oh look Peter, there's a great ebb and flow to this clash and it's above all expectations for me. Great leap! Goal! Sevilla! And they get themselves in front! Great header, made it look easy. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. We have got changes here, from both sides, in fact. Sevilla go into the lead. Over to the left, passes it through, it's come loose, last ditch defending but that'll do, and they've got it back as soon as they gave it away, tries to get it forward That's quickly. what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now Jim is it, they just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Hits one! Goal! And surely now, the result beyond doubt. Sevilla have decided now is the time to make their final change. Sevilla take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Look, this position ought to convince them to increase their lead. I think they should uh, be really positive about this now, Peter. Puyol! They are running riot! And the lead is extended still further. Sevilla grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Tries a through ball. The shot's on! Pinged forward. Now the pass. He's gone for it! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. It so nearly came off for him. But that's the motivation and enthusiasm he shows and the quality he produces. Looks to clip it forward. And that will be the final act. Sevilla, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. Your final thoughts, Jim?
have some very strong runners from midfield and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the middle like that but this was very impressive the way they cut through the heart of that defence. Soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome one and all. The teams then, Real Madrid against Sevilla. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much Mr Drury and hello to everyone. And already we're underway here. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? It has to be the brains of the operation, Tony Kroos. He's another one of the elite passers in world football. Looking to shoot. Goal, Sevilla! Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Oh, that's excellent composure because the keeper put as much pressure on as he could by not committing sooner.
Real Madrid didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Pablo Sarabia. Over to the left. He's left his man. Hits one. It's there. And they are disappearing out of sight. That was glorious. Pinpoint accuracy. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach. Sevilla get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Deftly done. Plenty waiting in the middle. Looking to shoot! He's in! That's a hit! Carillo. Now it's Tony Cruz. Out to the flank. Loose. And it's half time here. Reflections on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Sevilla ahead 2 0, and they are looking good. is back on the way great strength too strong for his opponent oh well defended that had to be done now oh, they could break here battles to win it back Milner Shearer this defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up. Has a hit! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! Surely now, beyond all doubt. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. <laughs> Some activity down on the touchline. Seems there's going to be a change. Sevilla take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Sevilla are again so strong during the core of the second half. Once more, it's a fruitful period in the game for them. Hit into... Up to meet it! Shearer. Tries to stroke it through. Mukitarian. Modric looks to slip it through. Oh, and the finish! It's Modric! Great save. That was not easy. Real Madrid are really feeling the strain now. Impatience has taken charge. Raul looks to clip it forward. Oh, it's Marco Asensio. And that's it. What a great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Sevilla showed us why it's so important to seize the initiative.
Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. I'd like to have him on board. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. So away we go then. Rubinho. Can he finish? Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. that disappear wide that's just plain unlucky there were many me included who thought that was going in oh he really wanted that well Peter I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there great strength too strong for his opponent now here's the through ball Pablo Sarabia Get it forward quickly. Oh, they can break here. Let's put a stop to that. A real chance to break. He's left his man. Passes it through. Oh, sweet feet. More than happy to take the muscular approach. By Hong with the ball through. Going through. He's had a go. Sevilla! And Sevilla score first! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with and to find it, I think it was a fine drive and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Sevilla get themselves into the lead. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Wide to the right. Can he put it away? What about it? All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. Half-time whistle goes. Reflections on the first half. Well, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may influence a change somehow, but don't hold me to it. Sevilla go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. No changes at half-time that we're aware of. Played out to the right. Battles to win it back. Somewhat looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, um, from getting another. And the finish! And more, and more, and more! And the lead is free! It is surely done! Produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it has a strong end product. There's some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. 
Sevilla take a three goal lead and they are romping out of sight Filippo Inzaghi Sevilla haven't made a substitution yet Pirlo gets on the end of it Kaya has a hit oh horrible miscue Kayahon will probably beat himself up after that as the sole culprit. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. out wide it is quite a run he's making here who's he going to play in they're actually not getting too tight which is interesting no it's probably cautionary uh, don't dive in try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind Bala time added on will be two minutes the final whistle Sevilla felt they had to win at home, and when they did, it is they who take the initiative and head on to opposition territory on the front foot. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Sevilla simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became...
I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. And we're underway. Sevilla. He'll have a dip! There it is! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. Sevilla take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. And the finish! And the follow-up! Sevilla have created a real intensity from the start and there's no sign of any let-up. Sevilla scoring in the first 10 minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Could move up a gear here. Aimed long and direct. Timely intervention. Forward it goes. Defence has got rid of that. He's gone for it! It's there! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out. It really was a bullet. That is just the top drawer finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. <laughs> Pushes it out wide. Driving on a real charge here. Ah, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and, and just get something in the way. And a header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. It so nearly came off for him. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. And that was asking just too much of him. Hai Hong clips one, has a hit! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. extended still further great corner and he did the rest well look it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header and if you get it slightly wrong then you'll struggle but that was beautifully met it really was passes it through and it's half time here well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Has a pop! It's broken loose! Another chance! And he should have made it four. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Um, mostly good, I should add. Cuts it out. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. He's let this one! I can't speak highly enough of the keeper after that save. 
Can't stop thinking about it. Goes long. Just brushed off the ball there. Can he put it away? He's on to it, and it's in! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the goes for goal! Changes then in quick succession. I just think that's really good management, introducing one of his younger players when the pressure's totally off, just allowing him some valuable, easy on-field experience. Time. Going through. So what now? Ball's loose. Who's getting there? How about a shot? Ballon plays it out to the flank. Now the pass. This is promising. It should a goal! And still they continue with the onslaught. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. Well, here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Sevilla tear their opponents apart once again. Big chance! Found the best in the keeper. That may well be that. That is that. Sevilla have done it again. Another step towards glory. Still a fair way to go. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Yeah, and a result that was true to form. A big team beating a, a not-so-big team and a lesson dealt. Soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome one and all. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. We have already started here. Shoots! Ah, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. He's left his man. Shot a goal! Marvellous goal! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt. And here we are, early stages. He struck one and he looks hungry for more. He was urged to shoot and he duly delivered. There's the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Sevilla have an early lead. Good start. 
a loose ball. Filippo Inzaghi tries to get it forward quickly. That is terrific skill. The shot's on! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive and expectations were not met. That's a throw. Turns and goes back. So, they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Into the channel. Oh, great chance! And a goal! And already they're looking to run away with it. What a great header, got plenty on that. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. And a header! Harmlessly behind. Filippo Inzaghi Rabinho It's a brilliant interception and We've reached half time How's the first half compared with your expectation? Well it's looking pretty straightforward Peter They've got themselves into a, a very good position So why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a Another show of strength. Sevilla go in at half time on a comfortable two goal cushion. He's tried one. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Tried to play it through. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Looks to slip it through. Wonderful quick feet. Or oh, fists it away. Looks like a good ball through. Good challenge. He just stood firm. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Five minutes played. Good defending. He knew he had to stop it right there. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Going through. There's no flag. Rabinho. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Hits one. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. And the referee brings it to a close. Sevilla have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Sevilla simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo.
Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. The teams then, Ibar against Sevilla. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now, and I'm eager for the action to start. And already we're underway here. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's Leo. Now he's wondering who wants it. And shoots! Goal! He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. <laughs> Ibar, they have an early lead. Good start. Rivaldo. Can he dig out a shot? Gets his head to it. No, he didn't quite meet it right. Sevilla were simply a class apart in the corresponding fixture last season. They dismantled their opponents. Chip through, face to face with the keeper, has a swing at it! What about it? Well, it certainly livened things up a bit, and that next goal now is absolutely crucial. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Look, the goal was well manufactured, but the striker probably can't believe he's been given that much space in the penalty area, and he wasn't going to miss. <laughs> Sevilla grab the equaliser and we're all square look this is not for the faint hearted Peter this is hard and fast football now it's Leon Leon with a delicate ball Good challenge, he just stood firm. Over to the left. Lovely little display of skill that is. Plays a clever pass. Well read, he sorted that out. Plays it out to the wing. Going through. Milner. Referee brings the first half to a close. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? That was a fantastic 45 minutes of football. I'm really hopeful of more of the same in this second half. That's a really interesting game, and they head in at half time at 1-1. So we're into the second 45. Tries a through ball. Inui. Atastuta. Triol. Rooney. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too.
in Nui. That is Stuta. We sit high. Yeah, he's managed to get himself offside. Yeah, he was off. Ever so slightly, but he was off. Lobs it in gently. It's out for a goal kick. Ibar making consecutive changes here. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Has a pop! He's looking to get there first. Looks to slip it through. Sevilla merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Milner plays it forward. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. So it's ended in a draw. Craft and graft and everything apart from a winning goal that never came. An intriguing contest and a result that